A very good day to you all uh, from another rainy and nippy day in Pretoria. Uh, in my previous YouTube videos, I introduced myself and as to why I joined Saitland Verdedigen, Southland Defense, and also mentioned the most important rule of the day, which is prayer. There are only three rules left after today's rule number two. In other words, I have five, five life-changing rules for you. In this video issue, I'm going to talk to you about authority, which is rule number two. God has given you authority. Let's construct this presentation in such a way that we apply the spirit of discernment. In other words, the ability in making wise decisions. Remember I mentioned in Rule 1 about asking God for wisdom, of which He gives freely. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, here following are 12 facts of our present living and experiences in South Africa. Let's go to the word quickly. In Romans 13 verse 1, Everyone must submit himself to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. Okay, the question we need to ask ourselves is, why is the present ruling party in government and in control of our lives and our children's future? Well, I'm going to read 12 facts uh, declared by the political leaders on public and global platform. Okay, fact. Let's talk about black economic empowerment, which was originally applied for skills and training transfer, which is a very good thing, has moved over to total ownership that became a weapon of destruction in ruining the savvy economy of today. The question we need to ask ourselves is, is this initiative coming from God? The following fact is expropriation of land without compensation, mostly aimed at white farmers. In other words, removing white monopoly capital in the farming sector. The question we ask ourselves is, is this God's will of nation building and unity in harmony and progress? The next fact is the uncontrollable crime towards our citizens and farmers, which is actually terrorism. The question again is, is this not what God has asked us to submit to? The next uh, fact is the continual murdering of our farmers. You can see the carte blanche program a while back and the every forum programs. Uh, and what happened to the political leaders? Absolutely nothing. The question again is, is this what God wants us to submit to? Let's look at the next fact. Organized corruption of political members and leaders. The question is, are these leaders true or false prophets? Then again, the financially strong pension and medical schemes that I've mentioned in previous videos uh, that the ruling ANC and wannabe EFF want to grab and destroy. The question again is, does God promote theft as seen here or does he want us to build? One of the commandments, as you know well, is thy shalt not steal. So go read the, the Ten Commandments again and refresh your memories. Another fact is the ongoing white monopoly capital that is the reason for so much unemployment. Question again, does this make any sense? Is this not deception from the evil one? Another fact is the ongoing minority racial abuse on public platforms by political heads like One Bullet, One Settler, One Farmer, One Bullet and various struggle songs, the firing of AK-47s, with absolutely no action taken by the military or political authority or police authorities. The question again we need to ask, are they true or false prophets? The political leaders have said that we are visitors and that we must go back to Europe. The question, is this unity? Is this nation building? Is this God's authority being appointed? Another fact, our children have no future and opportunity here and they leave our shores. Question, how does it make you feel? 
that your children aren't welcome here. And then you still have to pay your tax taxes and turn a blind eye. The latest fact that's very, very prominent is Black Lives Matter. This initiative is promoted globally and pressed hard in our own country, in our sporting entertainment, to take a knee and to raise the right hand fisted or right arm fisted. The question is, the Holy Spirit tells you that this act is evil and that all lives matter, not just black lives matter, all lives matter should be promoted. So why are we doing it? Former protest captain Quentin Cook took the correct approach and removed himself from the SA team of late. He refuses to be intimidated by the cricket South African board. Interesting indeed. And then the last fact is the ruling politicians are getting richer and the people poorer and poorer. Look at most of the traffic lights. This is a perfect indication of our present leaders and leadership. And the question again, is this what God wants? So let's go back to the word. Let's read Matthew 7 verse 50. Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. Verse 16 goes as follows. By their fruit you will recognize them. Do people pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? 1 Timothy 6 verse 17. Command those who are rich in this present world not to be arrogant, nor to put their hope in wealth, which is so uncertain, but to put the hope in God, who richly provides us with everything for our enjoyment. 18, uh, 2 Timothy 6 verse 18 says, Command them to do good, to be rich in good deeds, and to be generous and willing to share which has not happened. Uh, 2 Timothy 1 uh, verse 7 goes as follows. For God did not give us a spirit of timidity, but a spirit of power, of love, and of self-discipline. What's our way forward? As I've mentioned before, a question is, why is the present ruling party an affiliate in, in government in, and in control of our lives and our children's, children's future? Well, here's an answer. Let's look at a biblical incident where we're acting, where we are acting like disciple Peter, denying that we know Jesus Christ during his crucifixion process. Peter feared what the authorities would do to him. But then I want to refer you to what God did to, for David against Goliath and Samson, what he did with the Philistines. And there are many more similar biblical victories. Gideon, Joshua, and many more. Now let's go back to what the word says here. Let's look at Luke 12 verse 90. I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. So who are actually the real racists in our societies? And what are you going to do with the authority the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has given you. I pray this video issue has remedied any confusion you may have and that your spiritual awakening is taking place to see what is happening around you. Next issue then I will share rule three with you. Stay well and be safe.